I'm going to practically show you what six feet is. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the standard social distancing that WHO wants you and I to practice. But as you can see here, that is not what is being practiced at the Nima market here in Accra. And when we put the question to the traders, this is what they had to tell us. <laughs> We know that we will not be infected with COVID-19. This is how we always sit here in the market. Okay. This is not the spot of my colleague selling by me. When I returned from Hawking, she had taken my spot and I cannot sack her. The car behind me has prevented Tell us from sitting apart. But even with that, we know we are safe against coronavirus. We have been asked to protect ourselves. Social distance. When I was coming, the social distance is to be two or three meters. But from the look of things, in the market, there is no anything like social distances. So what I was trying to say, if a government can do something about things like once or uh, twice a week, we can be at the market to buy whatever we want. Then the market shall be shut down to the next week. It will be far better than every day we go into the market. It's no helping us. With all indication, we've been doing this to keep ourselves from all that we can keep ourselves healthy right from time before the virus came. So I think we're getting better with it. And there's no way we can distance from each other. Because when you try to do that, you realize you find problems with people. So all we need to do is that we'll be extra careful. With all that we are told to do to avoid and abstain, we do it and be extra careful like I said. Here at the Nima market, on a market day, we have noticed that it is practically almost impossible for them to practice social distancing as told us by the traders and the shoppers here. They are saying that it will eventually bring about some confusion should they ask some traders to go home and others come. This is the situation here at the Nima market. My name is Hannah Odami for Joy News.